thousand reasons for breathing. I have not spoken to my mother in 13 weeks. Her missed calls just can't reach me. Her brown skin has been touching bone too closely, and I ran out of fucks to give a long time ago hello. Can you hear me now? Good. She never did respond to my cries of pleas. Maybe silence speaks volumes. I believe that I'm every bad day of another. A splinter kiss finger. A bone, a <laughs> broken promise. A bone peeking straight knee. Every reason in the world she was never there for me. I kiss my son's tight, dimpled cheek when I was in, I'm sorry, every day. I ask him if he loves me. Is this my phrase his answer will change? I am now rearranged. My mother searches for two million miles of forgiveness. Every time we encounter, I almost always look away. I'm more empty, is what I want to say. I remember reading Are You My Mother back in the day and crying myself into nap time because of how much I could relate. Hello, can you hear me now? Good. We never know what we have until it's gone. What about a walk on court? Am I supposed to take what I have and move on? I don't hate her. I'm still looking for her. Behind that tree, on that branch, still waiting on her to walk through the door, tell of a high school dance, her first love, her first heartbreak, how she felt when her mother chose a man of life too back in the day of 21 years old. I'm still searching for my mommy. What if I had to come home, to be a thousand reasons for breathing, kiss my tight, dimpled cheek, ask me if she loves me a thousand times as if she's afraid my answer would change. Hello, can you hear me now? Good. Thank you.